Welcome to another episode of Red Tech Media's Inside Web Secrets. Today we're talking about WordPress widgets. Widgets are a term WordPress likes to use as well as plugins. They're basically just enhancements to your website. I'll get into more details about that, but it would probably be best to show you a visual representation of what a widget is. And the dashboard won't really be the best way to see that. So we'll go into my website and you can actually see what a widget looks like and then I'll explain more about it. I have four or five widgets and they're in the right section of my website right now. They don't have to be, but they are. I have a text widget up here which is my opt-in list. I have a search widget, a social media widget for the LinkedIn, Twitter, RSS feeds and more. And I also have a latest video widget. So you can kind of get an idea here that a widget can do anything you want. You just have to have it predefined and just add it into your website which we'll show you how to do today. And going back to the widget section, that's how you add more widgets into your website. Now widgets and plugins are similar. Again, they both have similar functions. Plugins are more just site-wide which means they can affect your entire website where widgets are more specific to where you put them. So you can have a plugin which is just something that enhances your website put into a widget and then that widget will basically take effect in that section that you have it. For example, my latest video widget that's very specifically put on the right side of my website. The sidebar, as it's known, not the right side, but it's actually called the sidebar and you can see the latest video widget. Now it just looks like a little pull down menu and that's basically what they are. When you add them in under the appearance and widgets section here you go into the unused widget section and they're available. You can add another widget. So we'll add one in just below the latest video which is the links and you'll see it pop up here. It's just that easy. Just click and drag and then it shows up. Now we could just save it just the way it is and you'll just see it. It was that fast to add the widget. There's one more widget just below the latest video. Took about two seconds. I added referral partners widget which is also known as the links widget into my website. Now to customize that and actually get it to say referral partners you have to go back into that links section of your dashboard which I'll show you in a minute. So we can do that. We go into the links and the reason that the category says referral partners is that's because I actually type that in. When I added a new link you can define it as anything you want. I like the term referral partners for somebody I want another person looking at my website to click into and see that I have other people I want to refer them to. I just have some sample ones here and test Yahoo partner or Google are not really my referral partners but they basically serve the purpose for showing you an example. We can add another one just to give you an idea. So you have like Joe's Garage and the web address is probably Joe's Garage dot com. Again just as an example and the description and the category which is very important because I want to keep everything uniform uniform as in making sure they're all in the same category. Referral partners or I can add a new category just as simple as adding new category and clicking test category and add that. It'll actually allow you to have more than one category show up. It'll just look like two widgets instead of one. We don't need that. And then the target, which is a very important term you want to learn, and that's something that tells you where the link will show up. You don't want people leaving your website completely, so make sure you select the target when somebody clicks on the link as being blank. And that's exactly what it says here, a new window or tab. You can do other, other identifying enhancements such as link relationships and advanced 
extras, but we'll leave these blank or we could just type or click one of them. It's a colleague. We could keep the link private, but we don't need that either. We'll just add the, the new Joe's Garage link in. And once that says it's added, you'll see it's in the yellow bar here, link added. We can go to our website again. And there it is, Joe's Garage. Going back into your dashboard and going back into widgets. You can make sure everything is the way you wanted it. Going back into that sidebar and where I left it with the links, which is again underneath the latest video, you can customize the links by selecting which links you want to show up. All links. There is a category called blog roll, which is just WordPress's term for their own links, or my own links, just exclusively referral partners. You can have descriptions and ratings, a lot of extras which you don't necessarily need, just the ones that I mentioned are good enough to have a, a good widget with all the links that you need to refer people to. Save that one more time to make sure everything is saved properly. Click back into your website and you can confirm that everything looks the way you want it to and that's how you la that's how you add the links widget or any widget into your website i'm your host john maybrook with red tech media inside web secrets we'll talk to you again soon